<laughs> That's it. Um, question number six from I Like Sardines. Since the last album, has anyone learned a new instrument that will be featuring on the album? I bought a synthesizer. Yeah. Yes. There's a bit of synth from Alastair. We haven't really... No one's learned a new instrument. I bought a mandolin, but I've never used it. We guys got a new reedy... Oh, yeah, a nice old reed organ. Which kind of sounds like a squeeze box. Yeah. Um, new, there's some new sounds on there that we've come up with, I think. Yes. Any new drums, Simon? I've got a styloform beatbox machine. Pretty much. <laughs> Which is, is not, on the, it's not on the record yet. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. It's going to be on uh, the record. Um, and again, it seems you might be heading in a new direction with regards to the material you used to write songs. In the past, you focused heavily on, well, the past, the source of stories, the songs you wrote. With Sea of Regrets, it appears that you've broken this formula. And from the sampling of other songs floating around, it seems like much of the new material will do the same. How do you guys view that period of your career where your song material was pulled from historical stories? Um, uh, possibly a little bit close to that to really yeah, have a yeah. proper view on it. But it was... It was right at the time and I'm very fond of the time. Yeah, it was useful. It was yeah. something that m made us stand out a little bit from the crowd. So that was nice. Um, and it was, more than anything, quite interesting to sort of do the research into yeah. into these stories it was um what's the word it's conducive to being creative potentially <laughs> it. Fun, fun and education <laughs> yes <laughs> exactly uh no, question number seven from india or michael as we like to call him Hi, michael. um this is probably a dull question but I've always wanted to know it. When you pull a record together, how much attention and detail goes into the order of the songs? <laughs> I think Brett, I don't know who Brett is. Brett Anderson? Anderson? Potentially. Possibly. <laughs> or from Neighbours. Brett. <laughs> Brett. <laughs> I think Brett once said that all the great songs were placed at number seven, but yeah. maybe that was just his albums. And how do you select what is a single? Is it based on commercial or aesthetics? Are singles important anymore? Okay, the number seven thing, that's something that got brought up when we were doing our last album, wasn't it? Someone yeah. told us that seven was the so was the place in the album where the best song had to be, so we just ignored that and put... It was well, our we, manager at the time, Yeah. so we tried to... Ignore <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, sure. sequencing of an album is really hard. Everyone's got their own opinion of what song should go where. I think on Elegies we all had different ideas, mm -hmm. didn't we? Yeah, but in Elegies had the, had the whole thing of it was very much it's all story based, and the entire album had to still tell a story as well. So there's a lot of debate as to where things should go, um, and there's no right or wrong way of doing it, I suppose. So it's kind of everyone having their opinion and trying to meet somewhere in the middle, which we haven't really started to go into detail with this record no, yet. Yeah. There's some songs that you know need to be at the start, and then some that have to be at the back. But it's kind of yeah, it's, it's very difficult and it's going to cause lots of arguments probably. <laughs> and how do you select a single? Whichever song is closest to 3 minutes 40. Yeah. <laughs> it's fact. Whichever song is shortest, basically. <laughs> no, that's not... Well, you know, no, I just know. know. It's kind of obvious, yeah. isn't it? We, we, had, we had arguments last time, didn't we, with Elegies. We had a difference in opinions of what would be a, what would be a single and what wouldn't. Well, I and think it's a shame that Voice of Reason was never a single. Oh, yeah. probably 25 sins. Yeah. Anyway, that's, so yeah, that's let's, not, <laughs> let's not open that kind of worms. <laughs> and are singles fun. important anymore? Yes, as promotional tools to go on the radio, but no in terms of actually selling large numbers, I would think. Yeah. A concise answer? Yes. <laughs> Even better than your last yes. one. I'll give you a point for that one. <laughs> on minus nine. Uh, from Stee, question number eight. Is there anyone out there? <laughs> <laughs> who you haven't already worked with, who you would love to produce any future material. There's something that we probably haven't given a great deal of thought to because we always sort of... Yeah, we, we always self-produce. I think we, we, we've all definitely got um, a vision in our heads of exactly how the record should sound. So I would find it hard to work with somebody who would just come, and, come along and say, you should try this because I know how it sounds. So, yeah, I would, but often I'd that, really like to one. Yeah, just yeah, try it. yeah. I think yeah. It's, it can be a good way of working because you know you can, people can suggest things you'd never have thought of that would end up being better than how you had it originally. Yeah. But, but the one time, the one time we have tried it in the past was a complete disaster anyway. So I think that's put us off a bit. But. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, we're, we're control names, freaks, aren't we? Do you names. want to name any names? I don't really. Yeah. I would. I, I like in theory the sound of Albini's tracks. Yeah, I think it would be nice to go 
and do an album with him. But, um, but I think he would it. be a ball breaker as well. Mm. Yeah. Be difficult. Um, but yeah, that's the yeah. one. And like Ken Thomas mixed our last mm. album. Yeah. I'll be intrigued to work with him. You know, yeah, as yeah. The, as a we... tracking point because he's a good guy. And get some good sounds. Very much so. Uh, number nine from Cold Beat. Have you ever considered doing a cover version? If so, what would it be? We did years ago. What's that? Stay. <laughs> did we? Yeah. What were we going to do? It must have been for a special occasion. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure it was, but we, we never. The did it anyway. 17 song. Stay. No, oh no, the Shakespeare sister. Okay. Yeah. But it never, it never really got for ground. We, no, we only ever mentioned it once in the car. I do remember that now. We, yeah. we always used to do Sunshine Underground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dave used to do quite a good cover of Making Plans for Nigel by yeah. TC. We nearly recorded it. As well. yeah, we started yeah. recording it and we, ne- we never finished we, it. We recorded a bit of uh, Summer of 69 in the. Uh, That's session. true. Yeah, and I'm going to overlay this <laughs> <laughs> on the video. Okay. Um, we've got a question from Tea and Biscuits. Mm. Uh, can we look forward to any stunning ILT instrumentals on this album? No. <laughs> uh, do you think you're going in a more uplifting, happy direction musically? And if yes, is this because you have been barred from doom and gloom section in your local library? Not offended. This isn't meant to offend, apparently. Um, I do have a soft spot for doom and gloom. Uh, I think it's that we've played with some um, major keys. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's more subtly doom and gloomy. But I think overall people are going to see it as being... That is, in comparison to our old stuff, it's pretty happy. Tempo's up a little bit. <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a lot more 4-4 four, four It's songs. a bit more varied, the tempo. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? that's it. So, Light and shade. Kind of, but it's not really... I don't think um, anyone's going to really get too high from listening to it. No. Um, Levin, from a, a Rhythm UK, that's a nice name. Uh, I was hoping that was a drum magazine. Oh. Where are your pyrotechnics? Personally, I feel Flames at the end of Spence Percival would be awesome. Would Couldn't be awesome. The, uh, I would agree. <laughs> yeah. If you give us some money. Fire regulations. Imagine, the Brudenell wouldn't have that, would they? No. no. There was a band that had fire breathers at, uh, at Trash, and they got kicked out because they were breathing fire and walking on stilts. There you go. I think that may be because they were hippies more than they were. How would you walk on stilts in Trash? It's quite I it's very low. I think maybe they didn't <laughs> actually use Neil? the stilts. <laughs> I can't, re- I can't remember the name of the band He's now. shot enough to get on still, so... Okay. Anyway, sorry. In jokes. <laughs> in jokes, yeah. <laughs> Number 12, Die City. Was it Die City? Uh, it could be. Uh, would I Like Trains like to play my wedding in the summer of 2011? Where is it? Well, two questions. Firstly, how much? <laughs> Secondly, yeah, give it to me. It to me yeah. <laughs> yeah, make us an offer, Die City. Uh, Lean Meat uh, would like us to play her 25th year... Anniversary. anniversary and she did mention that that's if she hasn't murdered husband. her husband beforehand so yeah make us an offer again and if you have murdered him we'll play at his funeral yeah that's fine might be more appropriate possibly uh number 14 shackleton's man hi guys i hope it's all going well yep thank you it has to be that's said a question <laughs> it's not a question <laughs> no, no question mark. has to be said north yorkshire is one mighty fine place to be i was interested in Come on, just ask, ask the question. <laughs> I was interested in who or how you decide when a piece of music is finished. Does a person say, for instance, Simon, when he's happy with the drum section? Or is it more democratic thing where the majority of you have to decide? I don't think everybody That's decides. That's really I think that we're our own worst critics. Yeah. Like, Simon will say that something's wrong with his drums that I hadn't noticed, for example. And... Likewise, we do, do it, don't we? Hmm. So we sort of, yeah, do our own bit. We'll How do we do decide? Agree, we? You, you know when it's, you kind of know when it's finished. It does take a lot of tinkering with us, but um, uh, it, it does take quite a while. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, no, don't, so don't do it. I know, I know, we'll be done in five minutes. Cheers.